What is up guys? So today we're going to a place called Francis Slocum State Park. Uh, I've been there a couple times. It's just really fun to ride there. Uh, some uphill, some pretty good downhill stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun, so see you there. All right, away we go. I still don't know my way around this place, but I guess I'll have to learn it now since I'm here alone. It's a fun little trail. I enjoy it. How are you? Okay. Um, hmm. Take this way. You guys will notice the bike rides a lot better. I put new forks on it, um, new tires, shorter stem bars, tons of stuff. So, all right, up or down? Let's go this way. One thing I don't like about this bike, the cranks hit the ground all the time. I can't stand it actually, it's real annoying. Good, how are you? This place has some pretty nice downhill stuff, but you gotta go up first. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here and take Buck Trail up and down. It's fun. All right, so I'm at the top of Bucktail. I'm gonna go all the way down it. It's a really neat little downhill section here. I forget where it ends up, but it's cool. A little down trail. Here we go. There's that. I'm gonna take it more further this way. Skinny. Real skinny. Just continue left. There's a little jump somewhere up in this area. I forget where. Oh, it's coming up. But yeah, I got uh, got these wire bars here. The 50 mil shorter stem. It's uh, really helped out a lot. Along with the uh, RockShox Judy front fork. That thing's amazing. It's an Air Force lockout and rebound adjustment. The fork that came on this bike just wasn't doing it. Oh, come on. Next on my list is a 1x12 conversion, a SRAM Eagle, and a wheel set because I need to have a wheel set to do that for the rear anyway, at least. I think this is the jump up this way. Maybe not. What do I know? I have no idea where I'm even going right now. <laughs> Oop. People. 
the guy saw me and put on his mask. Little weirdo. Here's the jump. This little kicker guy. Right here. Land down that way somewhere. Let's go session this. Okay. Put it in like fifth gear. All right, here we go. All right, up from here now. Yeah, this is a fun little place. This is like the first place I came when they bought me this bike and it kicked my ass. Oop. See, fucking pedals hit again. Yeah, so I'm running Maxxis, um, DHF and DHRs, tubeless on the front and rear. They're like awesome. <laughs> I'm really glad I went with these. They're absolutely fantastic. Real grippy. They grip real good in the turns. I need to get a new headset though. It's Something's wrong with it. It pops. It's got play. Okay. At the top of the mountain. Break time. All right, it's time for the best downhill here. Now I'm going back down the mountain. We're coming up on some pretty sweet jumps. Not really, but they're cool at least. So now we're going up to a trailhead. It's up this way. Which takes us down to a really fun downhill section. Here we are. I don't remember what this trail is called, but I think it has some jumps on it towards the ending. Really fast, fun downhill section.
kind of stuff is cool. It just makes me wish I had a full suspension. <laughs> Hardtails are pretty rough. Oh God. Went in a little too fast. <laughs> All right, I'll go this way, I think. I almost went in the lake. <laughs> Got a stream. That would have been funny. That would have been really funny. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Should I uh, make a new channel for this mountain bike stuff or keep it right on this channel? Let me know. If I don't personal best myself on Strava today, I'm gonna be kind of mad. I'm like almost done. I'll tell you what though, thank God I have padded shorts on. My ass hurts a ton after I ride. This is where we usually stop at. This is a little loop here. So I'm pretty sure it's all downhill from there. After this, this is like the best downhill in the, in the park here. We could head out and start doing that now. All right, let's go. You know, when I started, I didn't think I was gonna like it because it was so hard for me to do hills. Now I've just been busting my ass and I've pretty much learned exactly how to do hills and I'm building up endurance. Because I walked almost every single hill the first time I was here and now I literally ride up all mall. It's, it's just great. Tire, these tires helped a lot too. I wasn't able to do anything. <laughs> All right, there's another big hill over here. It's not big, but I couldn't climb it last time. So I'm gonna try it now. Yes. Oh, I did it. Sucked, but I did it. All right, I think this is the downhill section. Yep. Here's the jump one. Jump two. I really need to get a derailleur with a clutch. That. pop off this time? Nope. All right. I'm glad I didn't lose my chain. Last time we were here, my I dropped the chain on that little run there. And here we are, right back at the entrance. That was some good riding. Okay, so I am officially done. Pretty easy. I'm definitely getting a lot better at this. Uh, so here's the bike, so I can go over it now. So this is the Rockshox Judy Silver, uh, 100 millimeters of travel. 
uh, you know, just quick release. It's got air and lockout on it. Um, a fun 50 millimeter stem. Wake 780 mil bars. Um, what else we got? I did 180 mil rotor in the front. I have bond trigger pedals on there. Chain stay protector. Apparently some bent spokes. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.